Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick us to the end of the video where I have two bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. All right, so I have three to the power of x squared over nine to the power of x is equal to 81. So first off, nine here, this is the same thing as three squared and 81 this is the same thing as 3 to the power of 4. So if I replace 9 and 81 with 3 squared and 3 to the power of 4, I have 3 to the power of x squared over 3 squared to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x that's going to equal 3 to the power of 2 times x, which is 3 to the power of 2x. And this is equal to 3 to the power of 4. So now if you notice, all our bases here are all 3. And this is actually, this actually makes it much simpler to solve this problem. So now another property of exponents is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 3 to the power of x squared over 3 to the power of 2x, that's going to equal 3 to the power of x squared minus 2x. This is equal to 3 to the power of 4. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, then this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x squared minus 2x is equal to 4. So now we have an algebraic equation to solve. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 4 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I have x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now I have a quadratic equation, and to solve this, I'm going to be using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 2, and c is equal to negative 4. So I have x is equal to negative b, so negative negative 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so negative 2 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 4. And I have this all over 2a, so 2 times 1. Now I have x is equal to negative negative 2 is positive 2, plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared is positive 4, minus 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times negative 4 is negative 16, all over 2, 2 times 1, which is 2. Now I have x is equal to 2, plus or minus the square root of 4 minus negative 16 is 4 plus 16, over 2, 4 plus 16 is 20, so I have x is equal to 2, plus or minus the square root of 20, over 2. Now, 20, we can actually simplify this radical. So 20, this is the same thing as 10 times 2. And 10, this is the same thing as 5 times 2. So as you can see, 2 here, this is going to be our outside number. And 5, because this is all that's left, is going to be what's in our inside. So we have 2 plus or minus 2 root 5 over 2. Now, we can simply divide both these terms by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so I have 1 plus or minus 2, this 2 root 5 over 2 is simply square root 5. So, my two solutions for x are x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5, and x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5. All right, so I have 500 to the power of 500 over 250 to the power of 250. So now this can be written as 500 to the power of 500 here. This is the same thing as 250 plus 250. So now I have 500 to the power of 250 plus 250 over, I'm not going to change anything for now, so 250 over 250. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, 
This is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 500 to the power of 250 plus 250, this is equal to 500 to the power of 250 times 500 to the power of 250 over 250 to the power of 250. Now this can be written as 500 to the power of 250 times 500 to the power of 250 over 250 to the power of 250. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to, sorry, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 500 to the power of 250 over 250 to the power of 250, that's going to equal 500 over 250 to the power of 250. And now 500 over 250, that's equal to 2. So now I have 500 to the power of 250 times 2 to the power of 250. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So 500 to the power of 250 times 2 to the power of 250, this is equal to 500 times 2 to the power of 250. And 500 times 2 is 1,000, so I have 1,000 to the power of 250. Now, we can actually go ahead and simplify this a little. 1,000, this is the same thing as 10 to the power of 3. So now I have 10 to the power of 3 to the power of 250. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 10 to the power of 3 to the power of 250, that's going to equal 10 to the power of 3 times 250. And 3 times 250 is 750. So I have 10 to the power of 750. And this is my answer. All right, so I have 10 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 10. Now, 20 here, this is the same thing as 10 times 2. So now I have 10 to the power of 20 over 10 times 2 to the power of 10. And now this can be rewritten. So an important property of the exponents is that if I have something in the form a to the power a times b to the power of m, this is equal to a to the power of m times b to the power of m. So 10 times 2 to the power of 10, that's going to equal 10 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of 10. Now, if I have something in the form a over b times c, this can be written as 1 over b times a over c. So 10 to the power of 20 over 10 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of 10, I'm going to rewrite this as 1 over 2 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 20 over 10 to the power of 10. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 10 to the power of 20 over 10 to the power of 10, that's going to equal 10 to the power of 20 minus 10. And 20 minus 10 is 10, so I have 1 over 2 times 10 times 10 to the power of 10. Now, if I multiply these two, I get 10 to the power of 10 over 2 to the power of 10. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 10 to the power of 10 over 2 to the power of 10, this is equal to 10 over 2 to the power of 10. And 10 over 2 is 5. So I have 5 to the power of 10, and this is my answer.